Hey guys, I am back and today I just have a little vice video. Um, I thought that it would be something good to kind of tape since I now have the experience of it and it's kind of going to be like a series. So this video that I'm filming right now is just going to be kind of about how to go about choosing the right college for you and then the next video that I'm going to film after this, like not today but like in a little bit depending on the feedback I get from this, will be about um, college freshman advice because I went into college um, not really knowing much about it. <laughs> I am the oldest uh, kid in my family so I was the first one to go to college. Um, my dad did not go to college, my mom did but she just went to like a community college so this I'm the first person and like out of all my cousins like everything like that I am the first person to go to college and like dorm and just stuff like that so um, I will have like a college freshman advice video and when I was starting to pack and getting ready to move into school I did look up a lot of those videos and I found them pretty helpful but that's not what today's video is today's video is going to be just about like kind of what I went through picking the right college for me and then just you know my advice and tips and stuff so I guess to start I would recommend like thinking starting to think about college and where you want to go and what you want to do and stuff like that um junior year of high school and I wouldn't say the beginning of junior year because I think that's a little early but definitely the second half of junior year and that summer for sure you need to start thinking about things because fall of sophomore year is when you need to put in college applications uh, fall of senior year I'm sorry <laughs> so um I kind of was the type of person where I didn't want to think about it junior year I was just really like pushing it off and pushing it off. I was like, I have time. I have time. I don't need to think about where I want to go and stuff like that. And it ended up being okay for me, but definitely it was a little hectic at the end. If I had started probably more around January or February of junior year, just thinking about things, it probably would have been slightly easier for me. I didn't really start to like the beginning of the summer, which it still worked out well and I did find I had quite a bit of time left, but um, it was just a little more rushed. So the first thing I would say is your college, I guess if you know what you want your major to be or you think you know, then definitely look at colleges that have that major. Like there were a few colleges that I really liked and wanted to go to, but they didn't have my major, my nursing major. So I obviously can't, can't go to those colleges if they don't have my program. So those colleges immediate, immediately were just off my radar. So if you do know what major you want to be or anything like that make sure you look at colleges that have that and don't fall in love with the college without knowing if it has your major because that would be so devastating um if you are undecided or you don't know yet then i guess looking at any college is you know a good choice um some people do have dreams of which college they want to go to and stuff like that i was not one of those one of those people I never grew up thinking like I want to go to Binghamton or I want to go to Oxford or I want to go to U of R like I never thought of those things growing up but I do know some of my friends were like I want to go to Gannon or I want to go to Duquesne like you know those are some things that some people have and I guess if you have those type of reservations already then um definitely going to check out those colleges and make sure you have the right impression of them is number one priority um, because I think that is definitely the biggest reason why I chose the college, the co couple colleges I was choosing from um, was because I went and visited the school, which is definitely, like I said, one of the biggest things I think you need to do, but I'll discuss that a little bit later. So um, I was not one of those people that had a college in mind. I was just kind of going off of what I could find or what I could look up, I guess. So I also think that it is important to kind of realize what is realistic for you. So I live um, in a pretty small town and I love my family and I love my friends and I have a dog and I have a boyfriend and all those things. So I knew I live in New York State. So I knew going to a college in North Carolina or California or anything like that was not for me. I know people that do that. Um, I actually know a girl that goes to college in Florida and she has her boyfriend up here in New York State still and they're still together and stuff like that. But personally, I don't think I could have done that. Um, 
And also I would miss my friends and my family and my dog too much. So I kind of wanted, I knew I wanted to stay within like a four hour radius of where I live. Now, if you don't have those types of like setbacks, I mean, I wouldn't really call them setbacks, but if you don't care, if you want to just go out and be free, you don't have a dog, you don't have a family, you know, you don't care to stay home. Um, not that you don't care, but you know, it's not super important for you to stay home or you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that, then for sure you would obviously broaden your range of where you're comfortable going. So definitely like setting where you're comfortable, how far away from home you're, home you're comfortable being is important as well. Um, so I knew I kind of wanted to stay within a four hour radius of my home. And um, I, I did apply to some private schools, but in New York State, we have a school system called SUNY, which are state universities of New York, and they tend, they're like more like public schools. They tend to be a little less expensive, although uh, it's like it's a great education. So, um, yeah, I was pretty sure I wanted to do SUNY um, just because you can get really great scholarships through SUNY as well. So, um, I filled out my application for the colleges I think thought I'd want it to go to. Um, I think that's important first because you want to fill out, you want to get accepted to as many schools as possible. For me, I got accepted to every school I applied to. I know that's not the case with a lot of people or at least some people, um, but I wanted to know that the college I was feeling I wanted to go to also wanted me to come there. So I applied to like multiple schools. I applied to schools that I was thinking about going to, schools that I might possibly go to. I applied to plan B schools, like just like all these different schools. I think I applied to maybe six. Um, and then I got my acceptance letters. And of course, I was accepted to all of them. So if you weren't accepted to all of them, you'd obviously have to kind of cross those schools off your That's list. Un unfortunate to have to do that, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure that there is a school out there for everybody and like everybody will be accepted to one school or not. So yes, I then looked at all the schools I was accepted to and I really kind of got rid of my plan B schools or the schools that I was just only going to go to if I wasn't accepted to my like, you know, number one schools. And, um, for me, that narrowed it down a lot. And then I only went on three tours of schools. So I really narrowed it down to the three schools that I was like, I'm comfortable going here. I'm accepted here. Um, and usually when you get your acceptance letter, if you have the qualifications, they'll send you some sort of scholarship with that acceptance letter. So I did have a scholarship to um, two of the schools I went to visit. So I went to visit... Um, two schools that I kind of liked um, that came out of that pile of three. And I visited the one, which is actually the school I'm going to right now. And it, I loved it. I loved it here. The tour was fantastic. Everything, the program was fantastic. It's a direct admission program here. I don't have to be on a waiting list. I don't have to take an exam to be in this program. Um, I, I I don't have to really fill out an application. Like I love the program. I loved the school. It's only an hour away from home, so I feel like that was the perfect distance for me to get away and also um, stay pretty close. Because when I wanted, I want, I knew I wanted to dorm from the beginning, um, just because I didn't want to live at home. I wanted the full college experience. So I wanted to dorm, um, so it was important to me that I had the opportunity to dorm. So I did not apply to any like um, community colleges or anything like that because those colleges don't really have dorms. So back to what I was saying, um, I visited this school and I loved it. The other school that I thought I was really going to like, I got there and I hated it. I did not like the atmosphere. I did not really like the school. I didn't like the facilities. Um, that nurse program you had to take a test to get into I just felt like it was such a hassle that program and also like the school itself just wasn't my favorite um it was kind of a smaller that was a private school and it was really small um and I did not like that one the one that I'm going to now is a SUNY school and then the third college I looked at was actually like 15 minutes away from my house and I did not think I was going to like it and I ended up loving that school. It was also a private school. It was not SUNY um, and I really liked it. The program was decent, um, stuff like that. I had a scholarship for that one. However, it was 15 minutes away from my house and I knew I wanted to dorm and I could not really 
see myself paying for dorming just to live 15 minutes away from my house you know like I just feel like that was such a waste of money and it was a private school so dorming there was more expensive than dorming here and I would be closer to home if that makes any sense so um as much as I love that school that was like the one downfall for that school for me was that it was so close to home so and also it was a private school and it was kind of Catholic-y, I think. And so when we were doing like the dorm tours, they were saying how boys weren't allowed in the dorms. And I was like, that is crazy. Like we are college age. That is just ridiculous. Like I have a boyfriend. I know so many people that have boyfriends and stuff like that. And when I came to this school to tour the school I go to now, they never said anything about like regulations and boys and girls. I mean, there's guys that live on my floor, like literally doors away from me. Nobody says anything when somebody of the opposite sex comes to like see you or comes in your room like I just thought it was crazy that the other school like had that kind of you know rule or something so those are the reasons why I didn't choose that school so I did end up choosing the school I go to now obviously and um the rest is history I came I came it actually was a little harder for me to decide so I was between the school that was close to home and the school I go to now and I actually visited the school I go to now one more time before I decided just to make sure. So I actually visited the school I go to now twice before I made the decision. Um, which it was kind of a hard decision. I Now looking back I feel like it was less of a hard decision but when it, the school that was close to home was just really pulling me into it because it was close to home and I could live in a dorm and have my own independence and stuff but still go home whenever I wanted and see my friends wherever I wanted and go to the same restaurants I loved and go to the same movies I loved and just things like that were here I don't I can't see my friends I don't see my friends until I go home on break my boyfriend does come to visit me and I do see my family every once in a while um but like I can't go down to my favorite tea leaf bubble tea place here like that doesn't exist here so the thing that was really really holding me onto the one college I was close to home was because it was close to home but like I said I just couldn't fathom paying dorming and stuff like that and tuition is more expensive because it was um a private school so I made this decision like I said I visited this school twice and that is honestly my biggest advice is to visit the schools you're interested in because that one school I visited that I thought I would love I ended up hating and then the school that was close to home that I wasn't really too happy about visiting I ended up loving so definitely it will surprise you and there's just this feeling when you walk onto the campus that you will get that like when I walked on this campus I was like yes I like this campus when I walked onto the other colleges campus the one I I didn't like I walked on campus and I was just like I don't like this like it was like dark and like dreary and I don't know if it was just the day I went or like anything like that but I just did not like it so yeah that's my biggest advice is to visit your college and if your college if you're interested in going to college you know like hundreds of miles away it might be a little bit more difficult to visit your college but I do think it is 100% worth visiting um and I didn't mention this kind of in the beginning, but I did kind of like gather the colleges that I wanted to apply to and wanted to go to just from word of mouth. I talked to my friends at school and I talked to um, some of the friends like I when I was a senior, I had friends that had already graduated. I talked to some of them about where they visited and what schools they liked and stuff like that. Um, and... Yeah, I actually one of my friends goes here. She's a year above me. Um, and actually a lot of kids from my school came here. I want to say there's like five of us or something like that that came here. And I don't know. I just think that's interesting. Um, I mean, I'm not friends with all of them, but I just think it's interesting that so many from like my high school came to this college. But yeah, I think I think that's it. I really hope that it helps you guys. And I, I guess the biggest thing I want you guys to get out of this is to start early and definitely be thinking about it and thinking about where you want to go and um, plan the visiting of the schools. That is definitely something like they'll have tours, guided tours to go on. I definitely recommend those more than I mean, you can always go to a college and just tour it yourself. Um, but I definitely recommend the guided tours because they tell you the cool things about the school. They tell you the interesting things. They tell you really what you want to hear. I mean, they're selling you the college, but it is information that is important to know if you're going to the school. So yeah, that is everything I think that I have to tell you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And hopefully I can make that other college advice video pretty soon. Bye.